Okay, so there are a lot of OBS setup tutorials online, but all of them are really stupid long, and they talk down on people, and I'm just going to do it straight. I'm going to talk to you like you're a human being and not an idiot. Um, I'm assuming that you know how to download OBS because you've used the internet before. You, if you're on Windows, which is this tutorial, Windows original download installer, install it like you would any other program, and then boom, you have OBS, you've launched it. Um, what you're going to want to do is, to start, is click Preview Stream. You have your scenes here and your sources here. Scenes are like PowerPoint slides. Sources are like the things in the slides. So for your scenes, um, I would recommend having two. So you have scene one and scene two. You can name them whatever you want. Um, scene one is what I'm going to use as your BRB screen. So you're going to add a source. Right click the sources, hover over add, and then click text. Sorry about my, that was a good time to get a text, but uh, yeah. So text. You're going to have this be your BRB text. You want this in case you ever have an emergency and you have to cut off, cut off the stream for a little bit. Just BRB, you know. You can, you can make this whatever you want. Uh, you can format it however you'd like. But yeah, just a BRB screen. Like, obviously it can be better looking than this. It's not hard to add an image or whatever. You can just do that later. Scene 2 is going to be your actual game. Right-click Sources again. Hover over Add and then hover over Game Capture. So name this whatever you want. Default is Game Capture. Um, you're going to you're gonna ideally have whatever game you're planning on streaming open on this page, and then you're just going to click on that like screen once you do it, and click OK. Um, once you launch a game, if you want to change games on the stream or whatever, you right-click Game Capture, click Properties. The screen will pop up again, and then under applications you should see your game uh, so yeah usually what you're gonna want to do with like most of the games that I play for example are on Steam you're gonna want to run them windowed and no border you can google that it's not too hard to set that up so you have everything in your thing set up I'll have more tutorials about more advanced things later click stop preview settings this is your settings page um, under encoding this is your bitrate if you have an onboard uh, graphics card on your motherboard but you aren't using it so you have an so you have like a normal graphics card you're gonna wanna click on this button if it's an NVIDIA integrated graphics card so that way you save your CPU some processing uh, this is the default though and that's what you keep your bitrate I'll put a link in the description to what your bitrate should be dependent on uh, what your internet's like and what your computer's like under broadcast settings um, mode live stream streaming service this is for twitch fms url whichever one's closest to you path to stream key it's going to be on your twitch dashboard slash stream key this link will be in the description click show key obviously don't ever show anybody your key uh, i'll reset mine after this tutorial and then open your twitch back up and paste your key there um and nothing else matters you can save it to a file on your computer if you want you can save it as an fov or an mp4 file uh, I, I usually do this to uh, highlight stuff without having to worry about um, Twitch muting my VODs. So I click apply. Under video, um, you're going to want this custom, or you're going to set it to monitor usually, and then your monitor, so it's your default resolution. If you have a custom resolution, set this to whatever your game's resolution is, not to what you want to stream at. And then your resolution downscale is what you want to stream at. So say you wanted to stream at 480p like I do. You click on that and click apply. It's easy peasy. Um, audio, just leave stuff as your default. Like, you have it set up already on your computer, I'm assuming. There's no need to mess with that. Hotkeys, I don't ever use these. You can have them if you want. It's not, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, aside from that, your stream is set up. You click start streaming. Uh, to start streaming, obviously I'm not going to do that now because I'd start streaming and notify my followers. Um, other than that, your OBS is set up it really is that easy. Um, I'll have more tutorials about details um, in the future. Thanks for watching guys and see you later.